Hello and welcome to part two of the Gamma Spectacular video. In this video, I thought we shall have a look at the hardware itself, in particular the GSUSB Pro, how it's made, how it works, and how you're going to connect it with your detector to get your first gamma spectrum. So, this is the uh, GSUSB uh, Pro. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a neat little package, a uh, small aluminium enclosure. And I thought we'd have a quick look at the, uh, the ports and settings on this device before we uh, go into how to use it with the software. So on the um, front panel here, we have the uh, USB port. Okay, now this is the only power that's required by the device. It's fully powered by the USB. There's, there's no external power pack or anything like that required. There are then three small trimmer potentiometers here. The first one, and the, these are all indicated with symbols on the uh, enclosure. The first one here is the voltage adjustment. So you can adjust the voltage uh, steplessly from um, 0 to 2000 volts bias. The next trim pot here is the shaping of the pulse. And the last one is the gain of the preamplifier. So these are the three controls that you have to set your uh, detector to the right level. Then the main port over here is a, uh, an SHV connector and that is used for the high voltage. And here is a signal input, which is optional uh, if you have a detector with two connectors. Now, just to clarify what that means, most detectors or many detectors look like this and they have one connector. That means that the high voltage bias and the pulse from the detector all goes through the same cable. Whereas uh, some of the larger detectors often come with two connectors. A uh, high voltage SHV connector for the bias and a separate connector B and C for the signal. Essentially these two detectors do the same thing. The only difference is that the coupling in this detector sits inside the detector Whereas when we use a single connector detector, we utilize a coupling inside the GS USB Pro. With a short cable, if we're talking with um, coax using a coaxial cable, a good quality coaxial cable, uh, up to a meter and a half, I, I can't say there is any measurable difference. Uh, it might be significant if we're using longer cables, that it's preferable to use a separate uh, coupling in the detector itself and have the signal go through a separate cable. But as far as uh, my, uh, my regular products go, uh, I would recommend a single cable. It works perfectly fine. Let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Okay, the lid comes off like this. There is one cable that connects the digital panel meter, pop that off there, and here we can see the, the basic layout of the circuit. Now over here in the, uh, in the top corner here, this is the um, high voltage uh, supply, and that's a little Royer oscillator, and it comes out here, it goes through some smoothing capacitors, and this is an RC circuit that smooths out the ripples and gives a very steady high voltage signal. It comes down along here and goes to the high voltage SHV connector. Okay, the signal is decoupled here and goes through a preamplifier circuit and then to the audio codec, which is the one that does the digital sampling of the signal. Now, when we are using the external coupling, in other words, a detector with two connectors. The input signal comes in through the B and C connector and then bypasses the coupling in the um, GSUSB Pro. And to uh, facilitate that, you'll find underneath the unit there are two little dip switches. Now this dip switch on the uh, outside here, this is the one that sets the connection to be directly to the uh, detector or via the coupling. So just keep that in mind. If you're using a detector with um, two connectors, this switch needs to be in the down position. 
We also have a facility here for an audio output, an analog audio output. It comes out through a TTRS connector here. Now this TTRS connector is intended for a headset jack. This is the one with the four rings and that will connect in here and will also connect into an iPhone. And this is for the use of software like Geigerbot, which allows you to do spectrometry with an iPhone. It's a pretty good software. Unfortunately, it's not available on Android at the moment, but uh, I'm sure somebody out there can uh, consider writing some software for that, and that would be fantastic. You can also, you can also use this uh, jack output as an input. So for that you would need a, um, a stereo crossover cable. So you don't need a TRS cable for that, you just use ordinary stereo jacks with a crossover and that will allow you to connect two GS USB Pros together to do coincidence counting. And it uses the same input and once again there's a toggle switch under the unit which changes that from an output to an input. And call it a multifunction connector. Now this uh, this trimmer potentiometer up here this is only for uh, adjusting the uh, voltage display on the um, on the panel so that's normally normally I seal that with a bit of uh, nail polish after I've um, set the uh, set the voltage correctly. All right I think that's all we need to cover uh, about the inside of the uh, GS USB Pro so Let's go on and put it back together and uh, see how we connect it with the detector. So now that the uh, unit is uh, back together, uh, we have a normal uh, USB-B type cable, which is a typical printer cable. When we connect that to the GSUSB Pro, the power comes on immediately. And you will notice uh, on your computer that it should come up in your sound control panel as the USB audio codec. So your computer should recognize the GS USB Pro as an external sound card. The voltage comes on automatically. If you need to adjust the voltage, this is done here with the trimmer potentiometer on the end. We can set the voltage to 700 volts, 699, that's near enough. And uh, then it's just a matter of connecting our detector. And here we use a, a quality RG58C, which is a 50 ohm coaxial cable capable of handling high voltage. And that connects to the SHV connector and to the detector. Okay, so this is a single wire detector where the bias voltage and the signal comes back directly through the, through the cable. So, we have a DC voltage, which is the bias, and the AC signal travels back through the high bias um, cable. And, and that works perfectly fine. It gets decoupled in the GSUSB Pro and then processed by the preamplifier and the uh, digital audio codec. All right, so with it, that's pretty much it. And now we are ready to start up the PRA software and um, get our first spectrum. Uh, 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 uh.